Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is really not a Vulcan Report. To be honest with you, I don't really know what this is. I'm just going to talk and I want you all to listen. What I'm about to talk about, I'm sure, is going to be considered highly controversial. You won't find this information anywhere else on the web, the internet, nothing. I don't hear anyone else talking about this or have ever talked about it. No one. Not even the famous YouTube channels, not even the famous underground media, alternative media, nothing. Nobody. No Wall Street pundit or analyst. No one. No talking heads. No CNN. Nothing. I just want you to think about this. I want you guys to really concentrate on what I'm about to say. Um, there's no flashy documentary type material here. It's just me talking and you listening. I'm going to shed some light on a few things. And um, I just want to, to, I think it needs to be talked about. It needs to be said. We live in very precarious times, and there is things that are happening that I don't think a lot of people are aware of because there's so much noise out there. Okay, this is unscripted. This is just some things that's been on my heart over the weekend. I do a lot of research, usually on the weekends. That's when I have time to sit back, reflect, chill, um, things like that. Well, I've been pouring over charts and going through all types of news articles and just looking at a lot of different things. And I've noticed that we've been deceived. There is a terrible spirit of deception that's been going on. Case in point, this whole Mandela effect. Prior to this year, I've never even heard of it. Didn't know anything about a Mandela effect. Even why they called it Mandela in the first place. But that's not the issue. That's not the subject of this video. The subject of this video is global economic financial collapse. The destruction of fiat currency as we know it. Now, in the beginning of this video, I said I'm going to discuss things that no one else is talking about. Well, you can do a Google search and a billion different things will come up for financial collapse and all this stuff imminent. Lately, there's been a lot of talk talking about financial collapse by the end of May 2016. Talking about the dollar is going to collapse and all this other stuff. You've been hearing about collapse now for quite some time. The average person has been hearing about it since 2008. But what I'm about to share with you is mind-blowing. I think it's going to change a lot of people's percep perceptions of things. And I don't even know how to even present this material. I'm being honest. I'm out of my comfort zone here. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to say it. I'm just going to talk. If I don't make sense, please forgive me. If I'm not as articulate as I would want to be and I confuse people, please forgive me in advance. This is a highly complex thing. I may have to turn this into a series of videos, but I just want you guys to really hear me from my heart and feel what I'm going to cover. Let's just jump right into it. I don't even know how many videos this is going to be, but it just has something that has to be dealt with okay I'm gonna put it out here like this and then we're gonna break it down what if I told you there is no economic collapse what if I told you there is no global financial collapse what if I told you there never was a collapse in the first place and then what if I flipped it and said the reason why there is no collapse, the reason why we're not going to have a collapse is because it already happened. We missed it. That's right. The collapse that everyone on CNN, CNBC, Bloomberg, 
everyone from Gerald Salente to Peter Schiff to Alex Jones. I have not the, but the utmost respect for these guys. Learned a lot of things from these guys over the years. I applaud them. I, I love these guys, okay? But they even missed it. There is no collapse. It's already happened. We missed it. We weren't paying attention. We were so enamored with everything else that we we totally missed it. They got us. They've been 10 steps ahead of us the whole time. The reason why there is no collapse is because it already happened. Utterly. The next issue that I'm going to discuss is everyone's been talking about the global reset and all this reset, reset. You missed that too. The reset has already happened and you missed it. You missed it. As a matter of fact, it happened twice. And we're going to discuss that. I will prove to you, giving you enough evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that everything that I'm going to cover is absolutely true. And that is why you've been seeing the craziness you've been seeing. Now, let me present you with, with, with uh, Exhibit A for evidence. Have you noticed if you've been paying attention that hedge funds right and left have been closing up shop case in point my man and your man your man's man one of the top traders of all time Paul Tudor Jones was in the news if not for five seconds they said that he had a billion dollar uh, liquidation that's right. A billion dollars came out of his fund. Now, I don't care if his fund is a trillion dollar fund. It's irrelevant. The, ma the, the bottom line is he had an enormous redemption in his fund. Okay? Top dog. Not to mention other world-renowned hedge fund guys, Wall Street guys, have been closing up shop, closing down their funds. Going as far back as 2007, 2008, there were people that were closing and they even made statements on their way out saying that they could no longer make money. Whatever arbitrage system they were using, whatever system they were using, whatever loophole they were taking advantage of was closed, whatever anomaly that they were taking advantage of didn't exist anymore, or just period... Their strategy, their methodology just stopped working. Okay? So you have to ask yourself a question. Did their methodology stop working? Or are the markets broken? Let that sink in for a minute. Have you ever considered that the financial markets are broken? Now, not broken in the sense of they don't work anymore. Oh, no. I'm going to prove to you that they're more, the markets are more efficient than they've ever been. Ever. The efficient market hypothesis that existed from day one that you're taught about in business school never existed until now. And I will prove that as well. Yes. I'm going to prove to you that the world as we know it went bye-bye and we weren't even alert and awake enough to notice it when it happened because we weren't paying attention so by the end of this video the questions gonna be there could be numerous questions but one of them are gonna be if we missed this such a loud explosion as this what else have we missed and not been privy to that's been having the wool pulled right over our eyes right in front of us that's like a nuke going off 10 feet in front of you and you don't hear see anything <laughs> technically you wouldn't either way you, you would just evaporate in seconds but you get my point something so spectacular and marvelous happening before your eyes and you don't you're too blind to even see it or hear it it's like being mute we're zombies. We've been walking around as zombies and haven't even noticed. This is spectacular information. All right, let's get into the meat of it now. I've given you my thesis. The thesis is that there is no collapse because it already happened. There is no global reset because it's already happened twice. <laughs> 
All right. Now, I'm going to do my best to explain what I mean. I'm going to do my best to break this down. Um, I'm only one man. I'm not the most articulate dude on the planet. But I'm going to do my best to try to describe and explain what it is I'm saying. I don't have a whole lot of charts and graphs and things of that nature, bells and whistles. I don't even know how to make videos like that. I don't know how to make documentaries, okay? I didn't take film in school or nothing like that. I don't know nothing about that. I just talk and present facts, and that's it. So, without further ado, let's get into some facts. Fact number one, okay? Fact number one. The collapse has already happened. I'm going to pause for a second. If you have not already done so, I highly, highly encourage you to go and listen to the WAN playlist. And that link to that playlist is at the bottom of this video in the description. The WAN, W-A-N, the Wide Awake News Radio Show Archives that I did with the late, great Charlie McGrath. I covered a lot of things in those radio broadcasts. We talked about a lot of issues, things that I presented. And at the time that I presented them, people thought I was nuts. They thought I was off my rocker. People were begging Charlie to get rid of me and never have me come back on the show again because the things that I was presenting were so far out there. But I did tell people to long suffer with me. If you just be patient, everything that I'm saying to you is going to come out in the days, weeks, and months ahead. And sure enough, everything I ever discussed on that show has come to pass. Everything on the show. I was talking about Obama way before everyone else was. Now, Alex Jones did a, an amazing documentary on the Obama deception. But I covered things from a different perspective. And if you go back and listen to those broadcasts, you will hear exactly what it is I said everything that's been coming out there's so many different topics and subjects that that we dealt with and I I really think that you guys would be able to benefit from what I'm gonna be sharing in this series of videos I'm doing now you would benefit from listening to that because you're gonna have a zillion questions and a lot of them will be answered if you go back and listen to those prior broadcasts you'll see what I'm talking about everything that's happening now has already happened before and you're just getting it confirmed now I'll say it again everything that is happening now has already happened before and is just being confirmed now let that sink in for a minute we dealt with a lot of topics a lot of subjects a lot of things alright moving on one of the things that we need to talk about when we say that the collapse has already happened is to understand what do we mean when we say economic collapse well we're talking about failure we're talking about economic failure when a when, when an individual's debt to income ratios get out of whack economic collapse happens well I'm not going to take anything for granted I'm going to assume that some of you don't know what that is so let's break that down your debt to income ratios meaning that what it's what you're taking in versus how much you have to spend out so if you have a job making hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year but yet you're in a million dollars in debt well you're upside down because your your your, your debt has exceeded your income all right then you break it down by monthly debt to income ratios same thing that um, FHA loans use when they're doing your criteria and any other mortgage for that matter but the FHA set, uh, set the pace for debt to income ratios I do not remember off the top of my head what those ratios were that was a long time ago when I had my mortgage company so I don't remember but I think it was something like 37 41 41 30 something like 36 anyway in other words if you make ten thousand dollars a month let's say that's your net that you're bringing in per month ten thousand after taxes and everything else that's your net that your that your paycheck is ten thousand a month but you have to write out a ch you have to write out a check for monthly expenses of twelve thousand dollars well now you're two thousand dollars in the hole every month 
Okay, so you're bleeding money. Your your debt exceeds your income. That's debt to income ratios. Okay, you're up. You're negative at that point. All right. The ideal debt to income ratio is if you bring in ten thousand dollars a month after you pay your mortgage and your utilities and uh, all your um, revolving loans and installment loan debt. Total, everything total should not exceed three thousand dollars a month. That is the ideal DTI debt to income ratio. You're bringing in ten thousand. However, your bills and monthly expenses total everything is no more than three thousand dollars a month. That is ideal. That's stellar. You're A plus at that point because your income far exceeds your debt at that point. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, question to you. How long do you think it would take if I made $10,000 a month, but my bills were $12,000 a month? How long before we realize ruin? Something is, is happening that you have to deal with at that point. You cannot go on too much longer when you're, you're writing more than what you're bringing in. Something has to give, right? It doesn't take long. Well, governments are no different. States and local municipalities are no different. Okay, if you don't have the money to build roads, then the roads don't get built. All right, unless you have the ability to borrow funds from other sources, raise, you know, issuing bonds, things like that. I mean, that's where municipal bonds come from, raising money so that we can upkeep um, the, the monthly needs and things of that nature for the state. That's where your taxes come in to build bridges and roads and schools and, ex, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Well, look at it this way. For the purposes of this video, when I'm talking about economic collapse, we're talking about the death of the dollar, right? The death of the fiat currency. What if I told you there can be no death of the fiat currency because there technically was no fiat currency to begin with? It was all a lie. It was a ruse for the benefit of the public. <laughs> now that sounds far out and far-fetched and crazy, right? Like I'm, I'm on medication or something, right? Okay, well, bear with me for a minute, all right? Because we're gonna break this down, all right? This is just a this is just my my intro to what we're gonna be dealing with. I'm going to prove and show you that there is no dollar. There never was a dollar, not in the sense that we all think of dollar. Fiat is pretty much dead, done, and over with. So is the U.S. Constitution. We're no longer under a U.S. Constitution. We haven't been under a U.S. Constitution in a very, very long time. I'm going to point that out and prove that in the video as well. There's no Constitution. There's no dollar. There's no economic collapse. There's no global reset. It's all smoke and mirrors to deceive and keep you twisted up even further. And I'm going to explain and demonstrate what I mean in the next video. Thank you for your time and stay tuned for the next installment.